Hello my gorgeous friends on the internet, today we're going to be doing an abstract 3D fluid shape differently. The way to make it is very easy and simple all it takes is a few lines and gradient colors. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe, like, and share. And if you have any questions about this video feel free to ask me in the comments. Let's go to Adobe Illustrator. Now open Ellipse tool to create a perfect circle and make sure the width equals height. We'll apply a gradient to our circle. Now duplicate the circle and resize it to be smaller. Now apply a new gradient. Then we'll go to Object Menu Blend and we'll choose Blend Options, from the spacing. The menu will choose specified steps and we'll write 1000 then OK. Now select the circles and go again to Blend Options from the Object Menu and choose Make. Now we will use Pencil Tool and draw what you need to apply the blend. Perfect. Now select the two items and go to the Blend menu from the Object menu and choose Replace Spine. You can customize your shape as you like. Now I will try different drawings and apply new gradients. Now we'll try a new different style from Blend Tool and you can use it in your design and you can create a colorful background. Open the stroke panel and set the weight to 5 pixel, and make it a round cap for the stroke. I will apply a gradient to this line with 4 color points. Now we are going to make some cool effects. Open the effects menu then distort and transform and click zigzag. On the zigzag panel, just set it like this size 3 pixels. Absolutes ridges segment 3 smooth points. And click OK. In the next stage, we will duplicate it in rotation reopen the effects menu then distort and transform and transform you just need to change the angle to 30 degrees and copies to 5. And click OK. Now we have the first zigzag. Now we need to duplicate this zigzag and we will edit the size, border width, and zigzag effect. Now move the zigzag out of the artboard. Then go to the object menu blend and we'll choose blend options. From the spacing, the menu will choose distance and we'll write 2 pixel then OK. Now select the two zigzag and go again to blend options from the object menu and choose make.
Now we just need to make the blend path wavy by using the curve tool. Now select the two items and replace spine. Finally, I want to modify it a little. Finally that's all for today, if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments I hope you enjoy when you watch this tutorial and if this video is useful please subscribe like and share see you in the next video.